a month and a half into our full-time trip on the road in our travel trailer, we decided to join Thousand Trails, which is a membership system for campgrounds all across the US, which allow you to stay for free with an annual fee. So this video is gonna give you a quick look at the first three campgrounds that we stayed at and stick around to the end and we'll give you a recap of our thoughts and what we're thinking of going forward with Thousand Trails. This campground is awesome. We got number nine and it is awesome. We're right by a river and we can make dams and all kinds of stuff. Yesterday we moved in and yesterday we found so many rocks and it's up there and there's so many rocks, it's a rock collection. So we made it to North Carolina, we're staying at the Thousand Trails Green Mountain RV Park and it's in the mountains, there's probably about a thousand acres of land inside the campground itself, there's over 300 sites and we're off for a little bit of a hike up the hills to see a waterfall, supposedly, that's up here about a quarter mile. What's up here? Well, a tiny weeny baby weeny waterfall. Well, that was a short hike. Yeah, but where does it say finish? Right here on the sign. Finish. Oh, uh, I don't want to be finished. The hike to the waterfall was pretty short, so we're gonna follow a different path and see where that one takes us. Don't fall down, Baba. Let me see. Oh, that's okay. Mm. You're gonna be okay. No, don't take a video. Don't take a video. Don't poke the camera. Hey. Mm. You're gonna be fine. Mm -hmm. Going upstairs. It's really steep. Take to the side. A little steeper than the last one. <gasps> Billy and feet high now. I don't think we're Billy and feet high, but we are high. Look. Are we there yet? I'm tired already. I think we got to the dead end, and now I think we need to turn around and go back. We're gonna find another way to go? I think so. No, this keeps going. It keeps going. Go down the same part of the time. I think we'll head back this way. Yeah. Or my legs break. Coming down the hill is a lot easier, right? Yeah, but it's kind of better going up the hill. It's kind of better going up. You yeah. It takes a lot more energy though. But it doesn't hurt your knees. Doesn't hurt your knees. Yeah. Are That's you fine. an old lady? No. Uncle! What did you find? So heavy. Can I try? Is it real gold? No, it's fool's gold, and I'm so sad. Did you get fooled by the fool's gold? Yeah, I get it, Daddy. <laughs> <laughs> Tonight's our last night at our very first Thousand Trails campground since we joined, and we've been really pleased with it. We heard a lot of mixed reviews about Thousand Trails, but 
This one's been great. Um, they are doing some renovation because it's not peak season right now. They've torn down the playground, but they built a new rec center. They're fixing up the pool. So I think it'll be great in the future. Um, we've really enjoyed it. We have a stream right in our backyard, site number nine. That's where we are. We're really happy with it. Um, there's been hiking trails that start right in the park. There's a greenway that's really close by. And then about 35 minutes down the road, there's a big playground, zip line, and ropes course that we didn't get to this time around, but maybe when we come back, we'll check that out. So tonight's our last night, and tomorrow we head to our second thousand trails, just about an hour and a half away. We'll see how that one is. Bella. Is it a torch? No, I just want it gooey, not burnt. Our second stop in the Thousand Trail system is in Advance, North Carolina at Forest Lake location. And compared to the other one, it's just okay. Um, as far as sites go, they're all gravel and they really vary in sizes and there are a lot of seasonal um, campers here. So we didn't have a lot to choose from and we weren't allowed to go around and select our site in advance. We had to look on the map and just kind of pick from there. Luckily we got a decent one, it wasn't too bad and we're close to the playground and the little Beach. Unfortunately, we only stayed for three nights and one of those days was spent exploring downtown Charlotte, which is only an hour away. So if we would have been here longer, maybe we could have taken more advantage of what the park has to offer. So far, Thousand Trails, the two parks that we've seen have been okay. We haven't been blown away by any means, but they've been decent. We're off to another one pretty soon um, and that's going to be a longer stay for us and we've heard that that's a really nice park in Williamsburg. So we'll, we'll let you know how that one turns out. Today we're out playing mini golf with the girls. And this, this is Michael Hooker, a friend from Minnesota who's actually out here in Virginia. What base are you stationed at? Fort Eustis. Fort Eustis. <laughs> so we've been spending time with Michael, but we coerced him to come play mini golf with us. And we've actually been playing a lot of mini golf lately. It looks like a lot of the campgrounds that we've been staying at have mini golf courses which our girls are getting a lot better at, surprisingly really, really quick. So we'll have to see after one year or six months if the girls are actually gonna be beating Rachel and I at mini golf. No! <laughs> that was not a good shot. Copying me? Yeah. I did that and I missed. I know, but I'm gonna do it. Whoa! 
Well, at least that was practice. Yeah! That last park you just saw was Williamsburg, and it was just okay. The location was fantastic. Um, it was centrally located to all the historic sites, Jamestown, Williamsburg, and parks and beaches were right there centrally located. That part was awesome. But the sites themselves were really close together and um, a little bit hard to get into, but um, the girls loved the indoor pool and the golf course, so it ended up being okay. It worked out for us. As far as overall value for the Thousand Trails parks, all of them are a little bit different. Most of them do tend to gear towards seasonal campers, so there's a lot of campsites that are set up permanently, uh, and it gives you a little bit of a different feel than a regular campground when people are actually out and camping. So, uh, and then we've been camping so far before the high season, and we just passed Memorial Day right now. So that means a lot of the things in the campgrounds themselves have been in disrepair as they've been preparing for the high season. And that means a lot of the swimming pools have been closed, which our girls have hated. They love swimming in the swimming but pools. But they're open now, and so that's exciting. Yeah. So from here on out, we're staying at a few more, and the pools will be open. So that should add to our experience for sure. For our annual membership, we purchased the camping pass um, and so that, and then we purchased all the zones of the U.S. and we added in the trails collection, which gives us access to a few additional parks as well. So the value for that was eight fifty-five, and so far we've stayed thirty-nine nights in Thousand Trails campgrounds. And breaking that down so far, that gives us a total nightly price of about twenty-two dollars per per night, which isn't that bad. No, but for we, full hookups and amenities, that's pretty great. No, and so we have another 15 nights or so booked out through July, and once we get out west, further west and south, there's more Thousand Trails campgrounds, so we'll probably finish up the year probably with 80 or so nights in Thousand Trails campgrounds, which in the end breaks down to about $10 per night. So as far as value goes, I would say Thousand Trails is definitely worth it. Every campground is completely different, so make sure you read the reviews, you look at their websites and see what amenities are available, uh, and also make sure you check to see what's open uh, during the time of year that you're going to be there. If you're camping before Memorial Day, swimming pools and a lot of the other facilities might be closed since it's not high season, but once you pass Memorial Day and get into the summer and early fall, things should still be open. So that's a quick look at Thousand Trails and our first experience with it. We'll probably give you guys an update later on this year once we stay at a couple more. Uh, but we've been enjoying it so far and would definitely recommend it if you're planning on living on the road full time or at least part time. And if you have any questions about Thousand Trails or how it works, um, lots of people have questions about Thousand Trails. So yes. if you have questions, leave some comments below. We'll do your best. We'll do our best to answer you um, and maybe we'll leave a couple links for some resources um, for you as well. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, and we hope to see you in the next video.